What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Anime on Draft. This is episode 140. My nice. name is Mark. I'll be the host of this week. Mark. I'm joined... Hello, Alec. Uh, I'm joined by Rolando, Alec, and Drew. Um, what's up, fellas? Yo, <laughs> yo. Uh, uh, we are. Oh, I. I was just gonna say we're drinking um, some blonde ales this week, and I wasn't sure if Drew was actually gonna drink one. And I see him take a sip already. I am so drinking. I think he he made up his wow. mind. He made and his he mind. Decided to yeah. He decided. I, uh, he decided. I don't have coronavirus, so I'm gonna drink this beer. That's, nice. that's good that's good that's always a good thing to hear that you know yeah. your health is good everybody seems healthy um some anime yeah. shows got coronavirus so we yeah it that. seems <laughs> like there's been a lot of delays uh every every day we kind of hear some sort of delay just out of precaution which is definitely a good thing um i know twitter sent you know all of their employees they encouraged them to work from home and we're saying like if you can do that do it um so yeah please take care of your health everyone um yep. wash your hands and uh stay away from touching your face and eyes and so just don't touch yeah. wear masks yeah. shoulders good personal <laughs> hygiene that's all yeah, you yeah, yeah yeah you you yeah. cut out there for a second mark but yeah, don't touch yeah, your yeah. nose your <laughs> mouth whatever don't. just wash your hands yeah 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 that's 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 the thing to do um yeah we uh we got we got quite the episode today uh we're gonna be talking some more orashiri we're watching nisei monogatari we're on episode six uh we'll also talk about some of the current airing shows like doro hodoro pet uh magia record and maybe my hero um a little bit later and of course we got news for you guys so uh yeah, I think uh, I didn't quite introduce the beer, but we are drinking blonde ales. I'm drinking the uh, pizza pour. I think, wait, we're all drinking that? I couldn't find oh, it. Oh, Rolando couldn't find it. That's right. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Figaro, uh, Figaro Mountain 101 blonde. Cool. So uh, as we sip hand. on that, why don't we uh, jump into our Orishiri? And uh, I don't know if we're, we're still just letting Drew handle this one. <laughs> I have a I have a lot of I have a lot of notes this week. This like a lot happened. This was this a cool episode. episode. It was. Did it seem like there was just more flashy animation in this episode to anybody else? It seemed like there was a whole lot going on, like animation style wise. Uh, unless unless I just like keep getting blown away week to week, I'm just like still still so hyped about this like this season or I guess this. this show i think no, it's just any, any it was time. completely flat it was boring <laughs> yeah, like, it's just so boring i just uh, wasn't even paying attention <laughs> anytime senju gahara is on screen there's always this kind of stuff happening yeah, yeah, yeah there's like it's always really cool like cuts of like random like animation just different styles that happens uh, especially with like hachikuji there's always like these like kind of gag gag styles that just show up um we saw like detective conan today that was that was a reference i actually nice got because yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i feel like they always do that where they cut in with like a different anime or manga style and i'm like i'm sure that other people out there got that but i didn't and uh today i finally did you felt, felt good one. about yourself there <laughs> i was a little proud of myself i'm not gonna lie <laughs> yeah, kind of just like what Rolando mentioned. In like each character has like their own like a I guess like style or something that happens like with them. So it's like Hachikuji's gags. Um, you have uh, Kamburu who's like books, um, mm -hmm. with, like the never-ending construction books. You get uh, school supplies with uh, Gahara-san, and uh, yeah, it's you know each one has their own sort of thing. But yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of pencils and violence. <laughs> yeah. Um, Zenju Gohara tends to be violent. Um, at least she tries to seem that way when she's really not. But anyway, <laughs> right. Um, I don't know if you if you want me to get straight into these notes. I have like a crap ton. Um, or if you guys just want to give your uh, impressions first, and then we can kind of talk about some of the things that I felt were important about this episode. Uh, Alec, do you want to give your impressions beforehand, um, since you are also watching this for the first time? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I agree with you. It's always kind of cool to see the, the flashy cuts. I also got the, uh, the reference. Um, I was like, that looks familiar. I didn't know what it was. But I was like, that looks familiar. And then I Googled a bunch. I was like, ah, that's, what it's, um, but I enjoyed the episode. I thought it was, a uh, 
a fun episode to watch actually and a lot was going on like with Sendra Kahara there was a lot of like the pencils and the she's back to the stabbing his eyeball um <clears throat> and then I was just really intrigued by the conversation at the very end with um I can't remember her name for the life of me um blonde vampire girl shinobu shinobu thank you i remembered who she was just but just not her name but uh, i enjoyed it i i would like to hear you know the notes and kind of see see what you wrote down yeah i guess let's let's jump right into it um let's i'll skip over it. a few because like some are some are like less important than others um so we start off the episode, um, Aradagi is talking with uh, Hajikuji as he makes her way or his way over to uh, Sendigohara's house. Um, one of the main, there's like two like really important parts that like come out of this. Uh, one is uh, Aradagi asks her, um, what is it do you, you think that you become an adult? And that's kind of like one of the main themes of the show is yeah. him coming of age and you kind of even mm -hmm. see it um throughout this arc i guess with uh him and the uh the interactions with his sisters and he's acting like this kind of high and mighty older brother uh trying to protect them and say like you guys are idiots for like attempting to do like what you're doing and like confronting kaiki and all this stuff when in reality he essentially does all the same shit and just can kind of get away with it a little bit better than they can yeah yeah um so super important there. Um, and then right before they part ways, um, you get some foreshadowing and they kind of like play it off a little bit. Um, he, he's like, uh, he mentions like, you know, I don't know what's gonna ever happen to her or do I? Um, and so it's like kind of seeing of like what is something gonna happen to Hajikuji. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. It's kind of a weird, you kind of get left in like this weird spot where like they part ways and he's like, and that was like the last, he didn't say this, but it's like, and that was the last time I saw Hachikuchi or something. <laughs> um, it, it wasn't that exact wordage, but uh, yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. Um, moving on from that, uh, we get into Sendai Gohara's obsession with Kaiki. Um, and Araragi really doesn't understand um, kind of the situation that they, they're in. Um, their family situations are so different. Um, and Kaiki played like a huge role uh, in basically destroying Sendugahara's family. So we kind of yeah. get, that, uh, get that a little bit uh, in terms of like basically con like he's a fake but he is like good at being a fake but he has powers but he doesn't have powers and like we don't really know um they mm -hmm, keep mm -hmm. talking about that kind of back and forth uh but does end up basically destroying their family and so like i don't know you really can't understand that um what else do i have here um i can't i i wrote this down but i can't say this yet uh no spoilerinos able to say that uh it's like uh, the the interaction is so good if you like know where she's coming from and you kind of like know what's gonna happen uh just because it's like yeah i, I can't talk about it anyway <laughs> <laughs> that's a major spoiler super 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 spoiler um but like super good um they talk about uh Adaragi kind of like defending senju gohara wanting to go with her um However, she mentions, and this is kind of like why she's trying to protect him. He can't beat Kaiki because he is pure evil. Um, he has too much sense of justice and right versus wrong, whereas Kaiki doesn't care. He just cares about being evil or essentially money. Um, so essentially can't beat him. That's why she's trying to protect him. Um, ch -ch -ch. Do, 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 where do, do, do. Gahara, so Sendra Gahara can beat him because she doesn't care about justice. You know, we talk about the sense of justice with you know the Fire Sisters, sense of justice, mm -hmm. Aragi, sense of justice. Gahara doesn't care. She wants revenge. You know, and um, and she wants to essentially protect the one that she loves, which is is um, why she won't let Aragi go with her um, to confront mm -hmm. him. But eventually, we figure out that on one condition, he can go. Um, <laughs> last uh last couple bit of notes love wins in gahara's world um essentially and we don't know kind of why but it, anyone who kind of like loves her is like and she even says like you know love like when he an Adaragi says like you know he did that whole speech of like uh, i love you or whatever and she's like oh that's so cool i'm glad i'm a woman because if i was a man i would beat you up because you're so cool um <laughs> it, it, it shows it shows like the importance of 
love in terms of like her priorities and things in a guy and what she's seeking. That's what Arara gives her. And then the last thing um, she kind of mentions, um, you get a little bit of Hanakawa kind of throughout, but um, at yeah. the end she mentions like cutting of her hair, leaving behind the past. Uh, um, and so Hanakawa was able to do it. So now Gahara, Sindu Gahara is trying to do the same thing by getting rid of Kaiki. So that's kind of where we get left off she is a big bully a but bully. Uh, she does it out of love she does it out of love no bully big bully no bully yeah no that bully. was the thing that i wasn't quite sure of if there was some sort of hint of that in the first season or not or if that's something we'll, we'll get into later uh the sandra gahara hanakawa yeah is she getting bullied or is she like there's something there that like she feels like she owes her or something um or is it something entirely or it's or is she just kind of playing every time i miss something i just assume it's it's that's happened but not that's happened a good, that's a good assumption to make for sure um the the thing to know about uh those two harakawa and sanjo Gohara, and really all the girls um involved with araragi is like they're all kind of like linked together and in one way or another love him they all represent different types of love and we've talked about that before um, yeah yeah, so yeah. That, that's kind of like their big two and those two specifically are like uh one is like unrequited love and then one is like you know not quite getting into like lustful but like good obsessive. relationship obsessive obsessive i think is like a good word um and so those are like the two yeah. like actual like romantic types of love that those two have so they're kind of linked together and not necessarily fighting over him but uh kind of, kind of fighting over him. <laughs> yeah all right i i'm still unsure of where this master thing came about and i, I don't know maybe that'll <laughs> maybe that'll get explained or something or i don't at some point, don't know. You have to know <laughs> yeah, more about either. about what happens with uh, with Hanekawa, mm -hmm. and kind of <clears throat> also how it deals with uh, Sendra Gohara's whole backstory. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because uh, we we also kind of get like another like a little glimpse into Sendra Gohara's backstory with like her family and the the five con men. Um, they, they just keep like dropping dro dropping. dropping. Uh, like dropping foreshadow like little bits in there and they even acknowledge that in the show and i was just like oh that's just so meta <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of meta, so a lot meta. of that's like a really good word to like use because there's like a lot of that that goes on in the show um if we end up like continuing this and i don't necessarily know if we'll like do you know monogatari series in our next horror show we, we tend to like kind of switch it up mm -hmm. but um second season does go to answer a vast majority of the questions that kind of arise mm -hmm. uh in from the you know first two seasons so or i guess nice day and uh first season of you know Baka monogatari so um eventually if we get there you'll get a lot of those answers which is good and then you start getting One into day. crazy crazy seasons and movies and all go down the rabbit hole but Ooh, uh, and then prequels and then um and then prequel sequels. trilogies and then sequel trilogies and then prequels to the prequels and spin-offs <laughs> and spin-offs spin and then a they, sports yeah. anime and then there's oh, tournament arc a baby, tournament anime. arc a baby bakemono guitar one oh man <laughs> and this naruto's the, dad the little chibi version yeah yeah and then yeah. live action that's mm. also a spin-off nice yeah and then the musical <laughs> yeah, stage play, stage play. The stage, stage play, play the stage and then play. the musical. <laughs> mm. Now we're talking. Imagine we're... recreating the toothbrush scene or like one of the bath scenes like on a, on a stage. Imagine <laughs> like it as a musical. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> It'd be a burlesque be... show. Yeah. Burlesque. <laughs> burlesque section. Uh, uh, I like how you mentioned the whole meta thing because the series itself aired in a non -sequen a sequential <laughs> order than mm -hmm. the actual light novels so uh they they have a lot of room to do that mm. I, see, I mean that that's cool like it's it, they at least they take advantage of that because it, i mean like the creators of the show seem like they're aware of like how much they can just like get away with like hinting at things and like you know being able to to, to stretch on on stuff and create this foreshadow and what whatnot, whatnot. Um, at least like they're aware of that at the time, which is cool. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's why it's it's so fun that we're rewatching it now. Because mm -hmm. I mean, this has been out for years, and for well, I'm not you know, some of us no. that the collective. I mean, like yeah. yeah, the collective we like we're <laughs> doing collective. this rewatch, and the two of us are watching it for the first time. Like it's that's what's what's so interesting about it. Um, 
especially because you guys now know like what will happen in, in, in the future of the show you know you kind of like when it when it first aired um and like the first time i watched it i i felt the same way that you guys did it's like what the heck is happening this show is so cool but it yeah. drops so many hints and like all this stuff and i'm like what is actually going on but now to have the context and to go back and kind of see it and knowing like exactly where this season like falls into place and you know the previous seasons and whatnot um it's mm. it's it's really fun to watch because you pick up on so much more mm. um like i said i wrote like a page of notes on you know just one episode one conversation <laughs> between you know cedric har and Adaragi. it's it's like pretty insane yeah no i feel you because i I was maybe like 10 minutes into the episode and I was like, I need to start writing some of this down. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's just like so many like thoughts that like I, I think about and I like note and I want to like bring up. About. Wow. Oh, wow. I, I do think about that. There's so many things that I see that I like, I want to, you know, like, that he wants about. to see. Yeah. This, I want to see. This episode was I, really interesting. I think compared to, the, I liked last episode, but there was just a lot more that it felt like was going on in this one. And this one has me, wanting to watch more so than last episode did last episode was like oh this yeah. is cool this one i'm like okay well what happens what happens with hajikuji and why is uh shinobu acting this way and why are all these flash flashies happening with senju Kahara? and who the fuck is hanakawa and why is she a bully and like all these different things that actually make me want to watch later seasons of the show so yeah alex is just cool. not a fan of of watching karen being wiped down <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, an underage girl in a bath with. Well, just wait until episode boy. eight. <laughs> I think it's I know what what's happened. happening in this episode. I, no. I think in this. I guess it's the next one. Sorry no, to no. whoever episode listened to eight. that last episode. I, yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's the next like, one. I think. I think, I think no. Roland is right. I think it's eight. eight. Ah, it's eight. I, I see. I see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do have to say, I, I, I'm really liking Shinobu. Um, her entrance and the way she acts towards uh, Araragi is, is actually really funny. Uh, I'm just waiting for her like, to go, oh, so, you, <laughs> so you are, <laughs> Sandre. <laughs> Shinobu's so good. Like, yeah, yeah. She just gets better. Like, we've had, like, maybe, like, two major interactions with her so far, and you already like her that much. It's like, hold on, guys, just just wait. It gets even How many better, figurines so. are you going to have, Mark? I don't know. How many does Drew have? <laughs> <laughs> at least, I think I have at least 10. <laughs> those are rookie numbers, son. <laughs> oh, get son. Bump those, bump those Shinobu <laughs> numbers up. Bump. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you need to get the, ki the Kizu, the, was that the one, one, like, seventh scale Kizu Monogatari one? Oh, you mean the the one over here? Oh, you have the that one. one. <laughs> the one over here. That I have. Oh, he said. Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> oh, oh, wait a second. Hold sec. on. Hold it's on. Like, it's like. <sighs> you mean? Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. <laughs> you mean? Uh, see, that's you mean that's this cool. one that I have. <laughs> <laughs> that's never that's mind. Cool. You do <laughs> have one. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yes. Please, somebody <laughs> clip that. <laughs> Post it on Reddit. Say, edit well, me. <laughs> well, uh, th this was a good episode. Um, I don't know, Rolando. Did you have any other any other notes about this episode that you wanted to kind of point to out? Say, uh, Things to think about. Stuff. I to mean, believe in. I I've just honestly just been watching this season and. Um, just trying to look out for all of the foreshadowing and all that stuff. So like the mm -hmm. plot has been kind of like second secondary. So this episode in particular was more just kind of in, it was interesting to see the the relationship dynamic between Sanjay Gahara and Araragi because <clears throat> knowing how they are, um, it, it's just it's just interesting seeing like how much they show of it like how <clears throat> obsessive like Sandra Gahara is and like exactly what she's willing to do uh for for Araragi and like even her, for herself like she says she's trying to do things for herself like first and foremost but we I mean part of doing things for herself is also doing things to protect uh Araragi right. so yep. her host 
love love is kind of like and we talked about this like love is like the main driving factor for a lot of things in her life there's one other thing that i can't talk about yet that is more important but um they t- love it love is up there they they also <laughs> she talks about the cutting like she's talking about cutting her hair and how mm-hmm. hanakawa does it to kind of break ties with what was holding her back in the past and mm-hmm. i think you should remember that yep. mm-hmm. very very important yeah all right noted duly noted duly um D-O-L-E-Y. <laughs> all right well, uh, and anything else, Alec? Any any final thoughts before we get into the final episode next week of Karen B? Uh, I guess I didn't think I would like this show, but here we are. So, here expectations, are. you know, don't I'm judge happy, a book by uh, its cover. <laughs> happy we forced forced <laughs> you to to, su- to suffer <laughs> through the first season to get into like the actual like good parts of Monica's <laughs> rest of the show. <laughs> Now, now I can watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate our Orishiri segment because it does. Uh, I think it'll force us to to watch shows we wouldn't normally watch and maybe like. Well, them. it's cool. We, we get we get like shows like this. You know, shows that you know a couple of people have seen that really enjoy. It. We also get like shitty shows like uh, Bacano, <laughs> which uh, <laughs> which ended which, up getting dropped. <laughs> yeah, which yeah. ended up being like a struggle. Um, so we Thanks, get, we Mark. get stuff you know like like death parade and stuff so it, it's cool it's cool to like come back and appreciate some of the the older more nuanced shows that maybe not a lot of people have heard of although i guess monica story is probably popular it's pretty big i think probably pretty well known. Yeah. pretty well known well it's it's big enough that there's a, a segment in our news section about it but uh you'll have to stay tuned to hear what that is Stay tuned for Stay tuned. more. Da, da, da. Uh, yeah, well, with that, that'll conclude our Orishiri. Um, like I said, we'll be finishing up the Karen B um, next week. It'll be part seven, and then Ski Phoenix will be after that. I I will warn you, um, though. I'm I'm glad you're liking Karen B, and Karen B is one of the better arcs. To me, Ski Phoenix is one of the more dull arcs. So we kind of we get introduced to like some new characters and like some things happen, but I don't mm-hmm. find it as enjoyable as it's shorter. Karen though. B, so, it, and that's and that's the good thing about it is it's it's really it's kind of like, like almost like episodes. season. Um, yeah, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, four episodes. Um, and it's 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 similar to season one where you're getting a lot of character introduction. Um, I see. The overall story is good, um, and I like the characters that are involved. However, it is definitely not as exciting as uh, Karen B is. So, yeah. All right. But then you get second season. Second season is even better than uh, Nisei, I, at least I think. There's a second season of Nisei? Monogatari season two. It's just Monogatari oh, second Monogatari. season. That, that's, the, that's what, that's just what it's called. <laughs> yeah. Just to clear. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, just to clarify, are we like continuing this until the, through the second season? We it's up to point. you. It's up to you guys. Um, yeah, we'll come back to that then. Yeah, we'll yeah. Let, let's let's finish up Nisei and then uh, we can have that. To be determined. TBD. We'll cross that cool. bridge when we come to it. Yeah. What we'll to see what uh, spring anime looks like too? Some. Well, yeah, if it's spring. as bad as this season, then. <laughs> let's do two uh, Orochi. Spring's looking pretty pretty stacked. Uh, I want to say. Yeah, it's, it's spring. I think it's supposed to be good, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll we'll do a, a preview. I think in like two weeks. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Um. All right. Well, then let's get into this beer, the uh, Pizza Pour California Honey. It's a blonde ale brewed with honey. <laughs> mm-hmm. If if the oh, name didn't give it away. Um and uh Rolando, you're drinking the Figaro Mountain Brewing Company 101 Blonde Ale. Yeah. That also brewed with honey. Uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it doesn't say. Maybe it's. It. I think it's. Just, it, it might be. It. It could be. It tastes Who very knows? sweet. So maybe it is. Who perhaps, knows? Mm. Perhaps not. Maybe. Maybe. Well, uh, Drew, you you pick this one this week. You want to yeah. start us off? Um, I keep getting made fun of for like drinking hazy IPAs, um, and so I wanted to pick something that was a little bit different. And it's fair; it's like <laughs> the majority of what I drink is hazy IPAs. It's, it's um, like every other beer I see at the liquor store is a hazy IPA. It's, it's true. It's, 
It's probably even more than and, that. And I, and I wanted and I want to try them all because they they taste good. You know, I, the, the art looks so cool too. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, I wanted to do something different. Um, and Pizza Port is um, a brewery that we've had on before, and I wanted something kind of lighter since I knew we were going to be drinking on a Tuesday. Um, this is a tall boy can, but it's only a four point eight percent alcohol, so you can kind of session it. Um, and you know, I wanted something easy light to drink that uh, was crisp and tasted good so i mm. went with uh, the pizza port um they've been pretty consistent for all the beers <laughs> they've been uh, they've been pretty consistent with uh, most of the beers that i get from them um mm. and i'm pretty pleased with just about anything i buy from them so uh, i was more than happy to um this was available in like singles and sixers where i went but uh, i got the sixer because uh i don't know i thought it would be good and it, it is mm. good i just wanted to say that it does have honey in it I found it. It doesn't. Yeah, nice. but you couldn't see the bright screen on my camera. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's a, we'll take your word for it. <laughs> I believe you. I'm like, it tastes like there's honey in here. So Prove it. <laughs> Prove it. Um. Yeah, uh, Alec, do you, do you want to give your first impressions on yeah. the beer? Le it beer. smells very sweet. <laughs> um, like when I smell it, it smells like honey, kind of like you'd expect from a beer made with honey. It reminds me a lot of mead though. Like have you guys yeah. ever had mead? It it reminds That's actually me. what this reminds me of. Yeah, it smells almost exactly it's the hun- like it's mead. the honey and the and the kind of malty wine. So yeah. yeah. Malty. Oh, my phone is vibrating. Um ah! it's, it's pretty lively, like the mouthfeel. It's pretty carbonated for me. It's yep. also like it kind of flattens out pretty quickly though. Um and I think you can definitely see that in how the head because I poured it out and I think I had a head like this and um, it was like big, soapy, bubbly head. And then within a minute, it was like just gone. Um, but otherwise, I think it tastes pretty good. It's sweet, kind of like you'd expect. Tastes like honey. It's malty. And then it's got like a slight amount of like hoppy bitterness at the very, very end for me. And then it goes back to like a honey, like a bitter honey flavor. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty enjoyable. So I'm... I'm digging it. Digging it. Yeah. Digging um, it. <clears throat> I definitely think that this is very drinkable. I'm like, I feel like I'm just kind of like crushing this thing right now. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's so refreshing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't up for drinking something heavy this, this week. Um, so I wanted like is, a half this, and this is perfect. Yeah. Spot. Yeah. Yeah, this is hitting the spot. It's nice and crisp. Uh, crisp. Uh, nice. Nice and crisp. Nice. Uh, it, it's a little it's a little sweet. It, this is perfect. This is really, really good. Um and it's I haven't had a blonde ale in a while. And uh, uh That's why I figured it'd kinda of be a good one. You know, we haven't mm-hmm. done, you know, the style in a while. Get away from the the huge, uh switch it up a little bit. Um the yeah. one problem that I have with this, and you kinda of mentioned it, Alec, is it kinda of, like it flattens out like very quickly. <clears throat> it starts out like super super lively super effervescent really good mouthfeel and like now as i get kind of lower and been drinking it a while it's still nice and cold which is Mm -hmm. like really important you would not want to drink this warm um but uh, i wish i wish it kept that that liveliness um Mm -hmm. in there but uh it's a good beer um Mm -hmm. i mirror what you guys said multi sweet uh Mm -hmm. crisp delicious and uh yeah just wish it kept that little bit of liveliness going so I'm yeah. actually, yeah, as I'm drinking one. this, I keep imagining like being at the uh, beer garden of um, Anime Expo or yeah, last year <laughs> and being like, man, I wish they had this there instead of some of the other, instead of the <laughs> stone IPA I kept drinking. You didn't like those Peronis, like, dude? Those were yep. okay. <laughs> those those like were, your Italian right. beers? They were all right. It's that was like better over, than the stone. Overpriced it was lighter. Beer. Yeah, real overpriced. It's like a, a three three percent beer for like twelve dollars or something. Yeah, yeah Sto- twelve dollars. Stone was the Stone was the best <laughs> bang for your buck. That's like, the that's the value yeah, right there. The yeah, nine really percent was. beer 9%. or whatever for the same the price. Stone delicious IPA. It's yeah. essentially yes. It's just uh, it, you have to drink it fast because it's July <laughs> in California, yeah. and it's like oh it's warm oh, now, yeah, and it's yeah. an IPA, and that's disgusting. That's true. <laughs> but anyways, you, you I, I keep thinking about like a sunny day hanging with the bros, and uh, sunny day song, yeah, yeah, Dude, sunny again, day song. That, that glass, man, it's cool. It's, right? it's, it's like cool. I keep thinking you're drinking like a like whiskey, a lightsaber. Yeah, it's cool. because it's it's just a bigger it's just a bigger Glen Karen <laughs> glass, but for essentially, beer. yeah, 
it's, yeah. just, it's like, cool. If, if it were this big, it'd be a, a little one. But it's called yeah. a Spieg yeah. Spiegler. Spark, spark? I can't yeah, read it. It's, like it's backwards and upside yeah. down. That's just really cool. I want to get one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Um, well, cool. Uh, Rolando, you want to give us uh, your impressions on, on yours? Yeah. Uh, I said it was brewed with honey. I read again, it's brewed with honey malt. So that's yeah. why it tastes like honey. But mm. honey is a tasting but. note. That is... But but a blonde ale tasting note, right? Big butt. Big butt. But. But. Um, <laughs> I, I think... Um, when was the last time we had a blonde ale on the podcast was it the bj's blonde ale i don't even remember because that was like two years ago it's it's been years i'm pretty (laughs) sure it's at least been one year since we've had a blonde we we've had one before but i know we had the bj's on here but that was that's the last one i remember and i don't remember the last time i had a blonde ale like just to to be honest with you but this one's pretty good it's been a while (laughs) Uh, I like Figaro Mountain. I haven't had too many of their beers, but uh, this one's the 101. Or um, if you're in Northern California, this one is 101. Yeah. No article. Uh, 101. So the uh, the beer is good. It's very just refreshing, clean, malty taste. Tastes like honey. Uh, kind of just like a sweet. Um, <laughs> sweet up front, and then finishes very, uh, sort of dry, and uh, like Alec, you mentioned the mead earlier, like this does remind me kind of of mead, whereas mm-hmm. like the BJ's has more of like a malty, um, malty flavor. Uh, this one has like a sweeter honey flavor, and like, it's it's very mm-hmm. easy to drink, and it's only I want to say it's only four percent. Or something like that, four point eight percent. So <clears throat> like it's it's still sessionable. It's on the higher end of a sessionable beer, but it's very it's very clean. It's very sweet. Um, if you if you are not a beer drinker, like let's say you don't like drinking beer because of bitterness, like you're not into the whole IPA thing, like this is a very good beer to introduce to someone that's trying to get into drinking more than i don't know guinness or like newcastle or <laughs> that something leads me like into that. something actually okay what, i did what some it? research um oh yeah, yeah <clears throat> i did yeah i figured i would bring this today back we... Be- today we what is it what was it alex learning segment yeah something like that um today so i learned with alec i um i was seeing that we were doing a blondale and i was kind of trying to get a little bit of potential history you know there's always who the fuck knows really what happened but one theory is that blondales were a lighter version of pale ales to get more people into the doors of some of these breweries and bars to try the stronger stuff once they were inside it was like a gateway beer just like you said right now gateway beer (laughs) gateway beer (laughs) so (laughs) so that's uh that's one theory of why uh blondales were first First brood is just a lighter beer to get people in the door. So oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, this is a very gateway beer, in my opinion. Yeah. Same, yeah, same, with, same with the one we're drinking. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, one of the things that I hear from people who aren't like fans of beers, like, they don't like like either the weediness <laughs> or the bitterness of beer. And like, having like a blonde ale is pretty good because it's not like super weedy. It's not that, it's not bitter. You get like some of that honey to make it sort of taste like like a cider or something, or so the it most, gets some of that sweetness. At least for me, it's like the most you get is like the malt, and um, mm-hmm. yeah. And so if you can handle like the malt flavor, then you know you're kind of good with some of these mm-hmm. things. And it's not like the malt is overpowering, especially not for something no. like this. Um, yeah, but it's. I mean, it's gonna taste like a beer. It, it's beer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, right. I don't. The know only why. way you avoid that beer flavor is like a super fruity sour. And then it's not like super beery; it's more tart. But sorry, what were you saying, yeah. Rolando? <laughs> I don't know why, but this beer just reminds me a lot of cornbread. <laughs> hmm. I think it's like just the because you know, like cornbread is like kind of like has like a little bit of that sweetness, but is like very bready and biscuity. Like that, this kind of reminds me of that flavor profile a little bit. Hmm. I do love me some good cornbread. So it's not like it tastes like cornbread, but like just the. <laughs> 
the combination of sweetness and like biscuity. Well, generally you put you can put like honey or butter or honey butter like honey like compound sort of butter like on cornbread. It's like taste delicious. So like I can dig it. Yeah, I want some cornbread right now. Someone can get me sounds, some. Sounds you good. want some cornbread, huh? <laughs> uh, sounds okay, good. And I just realized that I, I misspelled blonde in the <laughs> menu. Big <laughs> uh, you no E, I, huh? I did nobody, nobody double check. There's no E in there? <laughs> this is blonde. Blonde. Uh, <laughs> the blonde, yeah. The, mm. <laughs> the blonde. Uh, yeah, if you, if you want to fix that, Alec, you can. Um, otherwise, <laughs> he's like, we leave it as a blame, like blame he's, mark. He's We're the it. only ones that see it, so. <laughs> What's it matter? Um, no, no, I mean, the menu the menu on the stream, but. Oh! Uh, so yeah, that means everybody ah. sees it. <laughs> Whatever. Don't worry. We'll all <laughs> remember matter. your mistake. I didn't even double check it, so it's partially my fault, yeah. too. <laughs> I just slapped it on up there. Oh, well. Nah. Oh, well. Just, I feel it. Out of sight, out of nice. mind. Except trusty. it's in sight. Yeah. <laughs> so it's in your mind. <laughs> Nobody sees it. Uh, yeah, I mean, anybody who you mean, comes on us. Anybody who <laughs> watches this or the VOD or. Yeah. Audio so, only, yeah, only yeah, listeners are like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> that just means you have to forward. misspell blonde uh, on on the, the it's going um, forward forever. Yeah, yeah on the, on the episode blonde. title. Yeah. We'll just all we gotta remember. double down. Yeah, and, and I'll spell I'll spell blonde incorrectly just like you did. How about that? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Thanks. It's, uh, we just gotta double right. down. And also, and also, <laughs> with you. double down. Misspell it. The rest of the the rest of uh, anime on draft life. Um, all right. Well, uh, why don't we why don't we get into some ratings, uh, Alec? You want to rate this sucker first? Yeah. Um. I enjoy this quite a lot. Um. I would definitely nice. if I. I picked the beer that Alec likes. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I would it if I had IPA. bought a six pack instead of a single. I would not be disappointed. I'd probably go get another. Um. Once I finish this. Um. Ah oh, man, it's a tough one to rate because it's it's quite good. But I think uh, I would buy it again. It smells good. It tastes good. I just wish it were bub more bubbly, like all the time. Um, yep. so that kind of docks for me. So I think like a like I want to give it a four, but because of that, it's three seven five for me. So Ooh. yeah, it's just like it gets Ooh. a little flat, but three seven five still pretty good. Um, and I would buy it again. It's your next uh, oh. golfing beer, right? Better than the uh, Swamis, that's for sure. Well, Swamis, you don't get, get as great. fucked up as uh, if you had yeah, Swamis. Is good. It's Swam good, no, but Swamis it, is, it, is, good. it is it is brutal. Yeah, to you do, get to it, the it's not a session beer. No. You, you get like to the ninth hole, and you're like done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that's what we used to have, and we'd get to the yeah. snack bar at the ninth hole. I'm like, I need three hot dogs, like hot dogs. and some water, please, like <laughs> yeah, right now. That you <laughs> order another beer or two after. Yeah, and then you get yeah. another beer, and you're like, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a yeah. problem. Yeah, but it's a good beer, Swami. It's it's good. It's one it of those IPAs are rated highly. Yeah, one of the only oh. IPAs you like. That's yeah. Fair. Which is interesting too, because it's a pretty bitter like IPA. Like it, it is like, like a West Coast compar style comparatively, IPA. Comparatively, though, like mm, it's not true. as bitter as some of like like sure. the Mission. Man, we all remember the Mission that's double, a di that's double a di IPA. I tried my well, best. <laughs> the 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 Mission the Mission is making a run back, guys, because <laughs> I'm getting married at that brewery. So oh, so is, you're gonna have that so in kegs, happen. right? <laughs> it is it is going to be there. So. You're gonna have that in kegs. <laughs> It, it's gonna be on tap. It's I actually like thing. that beers. <laughs> no, no be champagne. It's just the the double IPA for the toast. Yeah, the <laughs> toast. Everyone no, he's gonna have the champagne and beers. Me, me and the me and the boys. Me and the yeah. boys drinking uh, drinking the dipper. Drinking some dippers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm, I'm sorry. What, what was your rating for this one? Three seventy five. For me. Oh. Oh, you mean Drew? Who are you talking to? Drew. Yeah. Drew, Drew. Oh. Drew, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. am going to give this a four. Um, I think it deserves the four, uh, even without the uh, the constant carbonation bubbliness. Um, super sessionable, crisp, malty, honey, sweetness. It's a good beer. Go buy it. Go four. buy it. Four. <laughs> four. I'm not going to um, lie. It was really hard to give it a 375, but I went with yeah. my gut. 
Stay, stay, stick with it, man. I, you I gotta rate it. You gotta rate it with dude. the gut. The gut right. speaks. Yeah. yeah, you should listen. You gotta, to your gut. You gotta trust it. Yep. Just like I trust it. Uh, <laughs> Wait, so you don't trust in the mirror? Because always... you, don't, you don't trust Mark. <laughs> I did today, yeah. and that was a problem. And sometimes it doesn't always work out, you know? That's life, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the people say. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll, I think I'll, I will think I, I'll give this a four as well. I, I actually really like it. I would definitely buy it again. I was a little, um, like, not super excited that I got a six-pack, and I paid like sixteen dollars which is like six dollars more than what uh yeah, yeah I think it was 9.99 i think mine was 11, 11 for a sixer so yeah you got uh yeah 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 didn't get the best deal for it but i'm, I'm not too worried about it i'm actually kind of excited that i have you know five more of them in my fridge so i'll five get to them at some beer. point yeah, and it's good. It's 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 a very tasty beer. This gets the the tasty stamp. <laughs> this gets the um, tasty stamp. Poof. We still need to get yeah. like a graphic that goes <laughs> that I can click and it like <laughs> pops up on on his part of the screen. Yeah, this is a, I haven't had a blonde ale in a while, so yeah, this is it's definitely refreshing. Um, blonde good ale for a Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You. you. Me. Me. Yeah, me. Yeah. You. That's you, my guy. Well. Uh, oh, I think this is a good beer. I haven't had too many beers from Figaro, as I said earlier, but mm. this is actually pretty good. It's um, <laughs> it's fairly standard. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of the BJ's, but less malty, um, a lot sweeter. But I do think that it's a solid beer. So if you are a a non fan of IPAs or just even pale ales, just anything that's very hoppy. This is this is a good beer. It is like Alex said, it's a good gateway beer. Um, <laughs> it does tend to get flat, which now I'm thinking it might just be how blonde ales are. It's the style. The yeah. style. Um, but it's very easy to drink. Um, there's not much to it other than just like maltiness, sweetness. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's very. Like on the can here, it says balanced and smooth. Like that's actually very true. It is um, exactly that. So I'm gonna have to give this a four. It's it's a it's a good solid beer. Um, if you're not into hoppy beers, this is probably the one that you want to go for. Like uh, mm -hmm. there there's not much to it, but it's very easy to drink. It's on the higher end of a sessional beer but you can session it and yeah it's pretty good nice nice so the yeah. moral of the story try yeah. try yourself a blonde ale yeah get yourself a blow oh, we already killed it oh yeah, yeah, get yourself mine's a blonde a, mine's ale about to be yeah done so yeah you had a smaller can though too so yeah i only had a, a can this size cheater <laughs> i couldn't kidding. find anything else everything else everything else another one was <laughs> <laughs> <I'll go laughs> <get their band. laughs> he's like don't don't tempt me <laughs> i'll go get one don't at me bro <laughs> don't at i'll me. do it um, yeah all right so uh yeah that's a pretty good choice thanks for choosing a blonde ale this yeah. week drew good switch it, switch it up from the from the regular you know i like, to, I like it trying to uh, diversify again, Again, we had the uh, Pizza Port California Honey and the Figaro Mountain Brewing Company 101 Blonde Ale. I guess I'll ask you guys to like really quickly yeah. before we move on. Um, of these like kind of lighter style beers, what do you guys think you like better, Pilsner or like a Blonde Ale or like any of the other lighter styles that you think of? I think I like this a lot, but I'm still like more a fan of the Pilsner. I'd probably have to say the Blonde. Um, I feel like the the maltiness of Pilsner is, isn't always what I want to drink. Mm -hmm. Um, especially like I, I like that like crispness, and you kind of get like the lighter flavors. Um, Definitely a more intense like multi flavor with the Pilsner. Yeah, yeah. I think if it was to just be like any random day, I, I would probably pick a Blonde Ale. <clears throat> um, I of the of those options, the Blonde Ale probably, but I think I like a Hef, like a really good <laughs> Hefeweizen is like one of my solid go-tos um or a, like a white ale i guess 
but I yeah. only think of the Allagash really. So the Allagash white <laughs> ale <laughs> specifically, that, but that's, that's not, yeah, that's not, yeah, that's not a, yeah, no, yeah, no. White ale's are good though. That's not exactly a light beer, even though it's a white ale. Yeah, but I'd say like a half. I I was gonna say I was gonna say I was gonna choose half, but Alex said it first. <laughs> um, you can't choose it now. <laughs> no, like I I would choose a half, uh, yeah. in terms of like the lighter <clears throat> styles. Uh, I just like the flavor profiles of of Hefeweizens a little bit more. The ma- the mouthfeel of a good Hefeweizen too is like nothing mm-hmm. beats it. You get that like cloudiness, and it's mm-hmm. just like it translates like to what you feel in your mouth. It just like tastes so good. It's like, like super the heavy, Widmer, witty, witty flavored Widmer. Top tier half yeah. right there. I have the glass. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. Right. Gotta. But yeah, gotta get that. Are dope. Yeah. yeah. Good question, Drew. Good, <laughs> yeah. good question. I like that. Um, all right. Well, I guess that wraps up the beer segment. Uh, segment. Let's move into some news. Oh. Um, as we mentioned and we kind of teased earlier, uh, the Monogatari series, the full catalog, I believe, is going to be added to Funimation. T- so that includes which I don't even know, Drew. Correct me if this is the full uh, catalog. It's like, it's like a look Bakemona Gatari, Nise Monogatari, and Neko Monogatari Black Monogatari <laughs> Series Second Season, Owari Monogatari Seasons One and Two. Um, doesn't say anything about the movies though, which uh, that I'm that's not, the thing. Yeah, so it is not, all yeah. of the consecutive like series shows. Um, yeah, so. That would be ace. Um, but no, yeah, no, um, no movies, which is kind of a bummer because the movies are actually like a big part of part of the show. Um, so yeah, it's missing, it's missing the pre, like it's missing a lot of the movies, but, um, Mm. yeah, bummer, but, uh, you can still get them and go to the high seas. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. If you have discord nitro, then you have a free month of Funimation. Oh, so, yeah, that's true. I didn't know that. If For you want to watch Monogatari in our like with us in Orishiri, then go yeah. and sub, I guess. And catch watch up it. to episodes. Uh, it's also on Amazon, isn't it? I believe so. Uh, I don't know if it's on there anymore. Fact check. Ooh. Or if uh, if Funimation yeah. took it, maybe uh, Amazon doesn't get it anymore. Well, they had to replace. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, interspecies reviewers with something else right <laughs> so something else that was slight that was maybe as questionable in terms of how uh how much you can show on it's not crunchy roll yeah they're like we know what these watchers want to see so let's give them something with just a little bit of a taste just a little that. bit of a taste <laughs> did we say it's on crunchy roll because it's on uh, crunchy roll it is on crunchy roll yeah. yeah it's on crunchy roll yeah um, but I believe that's just like the first season, right? The no, it has Nisei Monogatari, Monogatari yeah. that's Neko I'm Monogatari, Nisei. Owari Monogatari, huh. Monogatari second season. It's got a lot. Ah, well, lots and lots. well, there you have it. Well, well then. Well, well there you then. Go. There you go. Um, yeah, next next bit of news here. My Hero Academia Heroes Rising <laughs> film er- earns 5.1 million to rank number four in the U.S. during the opening weekend. So wow. this had uh, been going on for about a week, I believe. Uh, it was in the box office for from uh, February 26 until I believe t- yesterday, um, and uh, yeah, ranked up to number four. Came out at number two, number one on its opening day, actually, um, which was a Wednesday. Wow. But I mean, still, it's pretty cool. I, I heard it was really good. I didn't get a chance to go watch it. I was out of town. Um, did any of you guys go see it? I did not. Nope. Nope. Did not know I, that it was available. Didn't know. Uh, yeah. Um, I I think Ooh. it's gonna be coming back. Um, in like another month or so, is <laughs> there gonna be showing it again in 4DX in <laughs> Japan? <laughs> um, oh, in 4DX, Mark. We 4DX. Got these you get another chance. We got these tickets. Shot. We got a shot. You can watch it in 4DX. <laughs> it'll, yeah. be, it'll be the wrong uh, one. We can complain again on Twitter, and they and then will watch give us more tickets. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> per- perpetual like, tickets we'll get it right one day we promise and then we'll stop <laughs> giving you tickets keep, keep, taking, keep taking tickets until we get it right dude yes <laughs> yeah let's let's do it let's go see some more 40 x showings so we can be mildly disappointed the 40x <laughs> lifestyle 
<laughs> what a 40x stage play. Do they have those yet? Oh, you know what? Well, you just came up with a great idea, so. Let's pitch, pitch it. it to them. No yeah, one steal it. it. Oh, it's too late. Okay, don't steal that idea, please. It's, it's gone. Late. It's gone. There's five whole people. <laughs> please, we need this. It's don't gone. Take it. <laughs> you fool. I need, you I need to pay fool. my rent. <laughs> What is, what is this? Hold on, wait. What is this here? Every week, some clip from that show ends up on my timeline and convinces me further to never watch it. LOL. What? I believe sure. that was okay. the, Monog the Monogatari series. Okay, I thought uh, we were talking about My Hero here. Yeah. Like, come on. Uh, 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 come on, David. Let's <laughs> let's be real here. My Hero my hero is my hero's good, man. Yeah. My Hero is it's good. Excellent. It's, it's fun. The, it the fun. current season... The uh, the manga, uh, they, they just they just been showing oh. the the best hero. F full, let me tell you. Oh, he you meant the brothel about... reviewers one. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, that makes that's, sense. That's... Yeah, don't watch that. Yeah. It's fine if you don't want yeah, to. Just, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, your um, species manga. reviewers uh, do, <laughs> do not recommend. No. I mean that's that's for a certain audience. Uh, anyways, uh, moving on. <laughs> oh, okay. um, all programs at Tokyo Anime Award Festival 2020 have been canceled, and so this is due to help stop the spread of the coronavirus infection. Um, I think this is a pretty smart move because this is supposed yeah. to be taking place next week. Um, seems like you know more and more people are <clears throat> coming forward, you know, wanting to get tested, and the testings aren't quite available worldwide and as numerous locations as it should be. Um, people are taking precautions, I, which I think is probably the, the correct move. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's unfortunate that this is a pretty big festival that they have to cancel. But like I said, I mean, I think that this is better yeah, to be safe with that kind of stuff. They're also yeah. trying to keep the coronavirus contained because if not, then That's... the Olympics might get canceled. Yep. Right. Right, which yeah, which is which also would be pretty pretty crazy. Has that yeah. ever happened? The Olympics have been to canceled World before, uh, like World War II. World uh, War II. That yeah. was definitely a time when the Olympics <laughs> got canceled. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, I think they should know, still should have had it. <laughs> let's just come together. And the Olympics have been canceled outright <laughs> three times <laughs> in 1916, 1940, and 1944 during the World Wars. Oh, that's the only yeah, time yep you know what might be interesting and, and they may end up doing this because um a, a lot of like the major sports in uh, the u.s might do this <laughs> is um still do the olympics or still do like the sporting events but have no crowd so they, they're talking about like having the nba finals with no viewers like in the arena which would be kind of crazy that's weird uh um, were they just gonna like you saw, you can speakers for, yeah but you cheering. know it's still weird when something just crazy happens they just empty put it on put it on the speakers <laughs> they, they did it for um there was something going i forget what happened but there was something going on in uh, baltimore and the orioles a baseball team played another team um with no crowd and they televised it and it was super weird to watch because it's like yeah. it's they're so not cool. they're not like they're not like a good team and they didn't like have like a ton of like fans that would go to the game anyway but to like see no one in the stands it's super weird it's like it's creepy almost that's gotta be weird like for the weird players it has to like be weird. Oh, for sure walk in there and be like it is silent like yeah. all we hear yeah. is the bat hitting ball and then mm -hmm. like call outs it's well, it's if like, you think of like you think of like, like a NBA, practice game, yeah, it's like a scrim so or something. Yeah. Right. You, you think about like NBA too, like like the M like basketball has like a super like unique sound too, and so it's like you hear like sneakers, uh, like like squeaking, and then like the ball balancing, and like that would be it. It would be super. super Just weird, have a so. have a green screen around the arena, and then you just throw it throw a craft fake crowd in there. I know a guy that does like a bunch of the crowd stuff for like the Macy's Day Parade and all that stuff. So you can just go in there and put the sounds in there himself. So <laughs> live. So there you go. Fake well, it. Next thing you know, guys, it's going to be it, the Olympics on Twitch. Just wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no put in your life. commands and we'll see what happens with the swimmers. Twitch, <laughs> Twitch plays the Olympics. <laughs> oh, turn around. <laughs> oh, yeah, what is this? Uh, Twitch plays uh, Olympics. Oh, what's yeah. that one? That one web browser game, the Flash game. Uh, Co oh, Co-op. Yeah. Co 
You know what? That's a perfect opportunity to put like a regular person into the Olympics and then be there, <laughs> yeah, they're, like right. a Twitch streamer who is competing yeah. against professional athletes. Twitch Rivals yeah. Olympics Edition. Twitch Rivals. <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting somewhere, oh, guys. Now we're getting oh, some God. good ideas. <laughs> oh, God. Keep them percolating. Um, it has to come in every odd year. So, no, you're going to keep going. So, every, uh, every odd year. Every oh. odd year. Uh, all right, uh, moving on. Uh, Aqua single has been listed on Tokyo Otaku Mode, which is scheduled to be released on May 2020. On in May 2020, on May 2020, news about this single? Um, other other than it's just it's brand just, new. It's just speculation. It's kind of weird because they just <clears throat> released a single, uh, so. Uh, I, I have no idea what it's going to be about, so people might be thinking there might be another project or something, like whether it's an anime project or not. But they are recruiting it already for like their next anime project, which is not related to any of the three groups, so who knows? There's been no elections or anything, but it's supposed to release in May, so we, don't, <clears throat> we just assume that they already decided on what, what is going on with this. All right, right on. Um, well, I mean, I, I can't, I can't wait. I'm sure it'll be good. Yeah. Uh, moving on here, we got um, there's a Kaguya-sama revealed the key visual art for season two. I uh, don't know if you guys took a look at that, but I'm excited for that <clears throat> to come out. Um, there's also been some more like casting reveals as well, so you guys can take a look at that um, because uh, it's exciting. I think season two is gonna be great. Um, moving on, we got uh, Crunchyroll reveals the preview cast and staff for Tower of God anime. Um, hmm. And I think I talked about this one about a week or two ago. Um, this is a pretty popular webtoon um, that I think will do pretty well. The, the animation style looks kind of interesting. It looks kind of like uh, it's got like rough lines on, on it. I don't know. It looks it looks very different. Um, so hopefully they do they do the season just or the show justice. Uh, but they also revealed like their slate of Crunchyroll originals in quote, and so that includes five different shows, which is Tower of God, God cool. um, the uh, Internet, the, other one? <laughs> the Noblesse Awakening, uh, Only Equinox, uh, High Guardian Spice, Freak Angels. Um, yeah, uh, it's some of these I'm not too familiar with, but uh, I know out of high school and no bless, those are pretty popular webtoons. So yeah. I don't know if Crunchyroll is just buying a bunch of the web like rights to webtoons. And I think so. Yeah, my sister was hyped it. about no bless getting picked up, but then she said it looks like shit compared to the Kickstarter one. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have to agree with that. Yeah, because the Kickstarter one was badass. It was really cool. Um, but and yeah, this one doesn't look like, like, like it lives up to that hype. But I mean, that, that happens sometimes with like fan made stuff because you know they're passionate about the project and so somebody in some studios. Oh, you're talking I, about the Kickstarter one. The Kickstarter yeah. one. The Kickstarter one. <laughs> it was like, oh, this is fan made. All of this, <laughs> this is Crunchyroll stuff. <laughs> it's Crunchyroll. I don't, I don't know what the, the, who they who they got. They haven't said yet. Um, but Studio Mappa is actually doing the God of High School series. Hmm. So that's kind of cool. Um, that's so you're good, super hype about that, then. So that, Yay, Mappa. Be, Mappa. that will be cool. Yay, Mappa. Drew and I are big Mappa, Mappa we're, boys. We're Mappa, Mappa boys, yeah. yeah. Mappa boyos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mappa boyos. Um, <laughs> last, last bit of news here. We got uh, Netflix adds the Violet Evergarden 1, Eternity, and the Auto Memory doll anime. This is like uh, one of their side stories um, that's going to be coming out to Netflix on April 2nd. Uh, I haven't seen this thing a couple weeks ago. I didn't really hear anything about it. I didn't um, really hear anything that you said, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sorry, I broke out. it. Uh, it, was, uh, it was shown in theaters a couple weeks ago for like two days, um, and I had no idea. <clears throat> so I don't know if it did well or not, but that will be in Netflix to be watching that, because I heard <laughs> it's good. All right. Okay. Go. <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> Happening, it's happening again. Let's leave it. Leave, 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 uh, Mark's internet is just leave chat and rejoin. I bet it will fix it. It's not liking me. Oh, All right, man. you guys want to yeah. move on? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. There. Nope. What? He's, he's, coming, he's coming back. He's coming back. Let's, let's, let's see if that does anything, and then it, I'll cut out. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if that it already does sounds, it, already, it already sounds better. Yeah, you let's don't see sound if that a does... robot anymore. <laughs> cool. Yeah. That's, that's good to hear. Here. Oh, uh, we'll never mind. That just kidding. It's <laughs> fine. We'll just continue. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you guys continue, and then um, I'll see see if I can fix something. All right. Let's talk All right. current airing shows. Let's talk about um, Adore Hidoro. So um, they this is a, another one of the shows that is kind of affected by coronavirus. It's like don't necessarily know if it's like airing consistently or not because. Uh, usually airs on like sunday night monday ish um this time when i was checking it for it yesterday it wasn't there so um and then all of a sudden it shows up today <laughs> um so i i wish with some of these shows that they would if they're going to delay to at least like make it consistent like delay it by a week instead of like just randomly releasing it like on a day that nobody really knows about i guess mm -hmm. i don't know um that's at least what I was thinking about it. But um, we talked about um, episode seven last week. Um, and um, I, I don't think anyone, everyone had seen it. But um, I don't know, did you guys watch the baseball episode? That was that was what we were talking about last week. Did you? Not yet. No. no. All right. So we're a couple weeks behind then. Um, Mark, I don't know. You and I were kind of caught up with it. Do we want to like, talk about these topics here? Or should we just move on to the <clears throat> move on to the next? let's let's move on let's right. let's come back to it once everybody's been caught up but you guys should catch up because this show is dope um yeah, talk sure. about Ma talk about map of boys um yeah the show's sick so anyway. yeah i mean i like the show i didn't see last week's because it aired on monday when we recorded and then <laughs> yeah. this one aired on monday as or not yesterday but it aired today on tuesday yeah. yeah it was like released today i think just keep it's gonna it's gonna air every time we record oh so we yeah. get to decide the schedule nice yeah nice <laughs> oh, sweet <laughs> map map is map is with us there they know they, just, they gotta support uh, the boys make... the boyos yeah. <laughs> right. they're nice. big fans and they support us respect so support respect <laughs> mad respect um yeah i don't well then let's let's come back to that later then uh, let's move on to Pet. Everybody caught up on Pet. That was also, I think, delayed uh, like two weeks ago, right? And then they dropped like two episodes. <laughs> yeah. So it's like they're on episode nine now. And they dropped eight and nine. Kind of like, again, another one that's like very strange. But um, yeah, I, I kind of felt like this this episode was kind of it was pretty depressing. man. I felt bad for uh, Hayashi, which is that was the latest one, right? Yep. And it's it's kind of hard to feel bad for Hayashi too because he's like such an annoying character. But it's like no, that's Hiroki. No, no. That's Hiroki. Or, yeah, yeah, she's Hiroki. 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 The guy that got crushed. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, no, no. no. I, 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 yeah, I know you're talking about now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel bad for both of them. You know, um, Hayashi just wants to be with his bro, with his essentially his son, and he gets crushed for it, and then. Um, uh, Hiroki, normally annoying, but you can kind of empathize with him. It's like he's kind of split between two worlds. It's like the world of Tanaka, who's like kind of basically manipulated him and treats him like shit, even though he doesn't realize that. And then now he's kind of discovering, you know, Hayashi and kind of like what he did for Tanaka and what he's done for Satoru. And it's like hard to, he's like trapped in the middle. And that's like not a good feeling. <laughs> yeah. Did he, so he didn't know about this whole pet, like, no, Word no, no. like you're not gonna tell your pet that they're a pet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Does your dog over there know that he's a pet? No. Oh no. Is your dog? <laughs> he's don't, getting up so slowly. Don't like, do that to him. Dude. I'm what? Don't do that to him. Excuse, excuse me. <laughs> what don't did you him. call me? Don't do that to him. <laughs> I'm sorry, your muffs. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I. I I thought that that was like, a, I don't know. I guess I guess you're right. That's a that's a good, that's a good observation. Um, <laughs> I thought that they were just aware of like that's what they called the the relationship. It was oh. like <laughs> master and pet. I thought he was fine with it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, I was like, he's, 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 
<laughs> Isn't that just implied? <laughs> Rookie just seemed like he was okay with being what's his name's pet. I don't know. Um, but I guess not. Uh, yeah, yeah, I feel bad for both of them. Um, is his name Tsubasa? What's his name? Tsubasa. Tsubasa. Tsukasa. Tanaka. Tsukasa. Tanaka. Tsukasa. Tsukasa. Tsukusa. You're talking about Tsukasa, right? Tsukasa. Yeah, yeah. No, there we go. Tsukasa. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you like? Wait, what? I don't remember this. I don't remember this name. It's like um, me trying to remember really, names. <laughs> I really, I really can't stand that guy now. He, he just pisses me off. Which one, uh, Skasa or Hiroki? Skasa. Oh, because he's just an arrogant. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Asshole. He's like, he's like entitled, and he like really shouldn't be, especially based on like his background. Like he was born to be sold in the organ trade, mm-hmm. or like his organs were going to be sold, and then ended up having like this talent, was able to make an image. And then because of that, it feels like super entitled, even though it was like uh, Hayashi who basically saved him. And then because he was like so great, ungrateful and asshole, he kind of like got separated from them. And that's like where Satsuru comes in and Hayashi like chooses him as the pet because he's like, this kid is like actually grateful that I kind of saved him. Yeah. And yeah, it's just he's he's just kind of a dick. And I don't know. I don't. I don't really empathize with him, especially like he's talking like the, the big uh, like triad boss or whatever the uh, the corporation boss, and he's like playing him like a fiddle, and he's like getting pissed at himself. He's like, "No, my yeah. pl- my plan isn't gonna work out now." It's well, like, yeah, it's like what, sweating bullets. What if he? What if he had antlers? He had antlers. If he was <laughs> if he Louis, were, yeah. If, what if he was if Louis? Because you just basically described the same exact character. <laughs> are you are you making a B star as a reference here? Um, no, yeah. It, it is. It is like pretty. They are like pretty similar, except like Louis is like kind of. I, I don't. Know, I don't really like Louis the character either. But, <laughs> <laughs> He's not a very good character either. Know. Now you know. At least you're in line with like your your yeah. ideas or characters that you like. <laughs> but speaking of beer stars, beer stars. I think that comes out like, beer stars. next week. Some beer beer stars. Beer, beer, beer stars. Beer stars. Beer stars. That it comes, comes out. out. We uh, are the be- beer stars. The beer uh, stars. Are... What like season two? Soon. No, no, no. Okay, it comes out on Netflix. Uh, oh, in the oh, US. Oh. For people who may not know what we're talking about, we we Fact did checking. a bad thing. March thirteenth. Yeah. Two weeks. Which I think next. Week? 10 days two weeks 10 days yeah cool. it's like next weekend yeah go watch b stars yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah uh yeah oh no i thought i thought i think pet is good um there's like some episodes that like the animation quality is like mm-hmm. consistently like not that good but um i think like i like where the story's going right now and for them to like turn it and make uh hiroki like a likable character is like pretty surprising in my in my mind um i'm curious to see what's going to happen with all the characters though because it's like we've we've kind of gone through the stage of like learning who they are and like what they're about and now it's like see like what happens with them um cool show yeah yeah i'm interested to see where it goes from here um yeah yeah well, let's move on to Magia Record. Everybody caught up uh, with the latest episode. Did that even uh, come out? Because I didn't yes. see another episode come out. Yes. Yes. The they ended the like uh, there was the episode with like the AI and the um, endless girl. What what was the what was the rumor called? Like the van- vanished girl or oh the the electric girl. girl. Something. No, they called. It- something different like an invisible, invisible something i, no, I that's probably exactly a subtitle that. thing because it's not what they said actually oh. it's like the most like, likely like where the ai is it's like the eternal loneliness or something I, I can't remember but anyway this this was like actually like a good episode i was gonna say um well i didn't see it because i didn't I see, did it. see it it would not let me access with the latest episode Big mm. oof. Yeah, the endless solitude. That's, that's, what, it that's what it is, yeah. Endless yeah. solitude and, like, the disappearing girl or whatever you want to call her. Um, 
I guess you'll learn about it, but essentially a magical girl wished that she was invisible to everyone. Um, oh, so she so, went into the, the locker room, the guy's locker room? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we talked about, like, uh, I think it was the week before, where it was like there was, like, too many things going on and, and too many rumors at the same time, and that's what was making it confusing. This episode made it make sense, which I yeah. was happy for, um, and it actually tied up, like, not like a lot of things for like the overall story the overall story still have like a shit ton of questions like there was yeah, like for sure there was this weird character who was speaking japanese french and english and that was like super super confusing oh, at the same time <laughs> <laughs> she was do she's like super like ganky like reminds me of like karen um and i think she maybe even had karen's voice actress <laughs> <Ayaya. laughs> um but uh, it was like really confusing she, she was like french english and japanese and it was really blowing my mind um but uh it was yep. a good episode <clears throat> it was it was pretty it weird. sounds like this is the female anime version of clay aiken are you saying if that because he's canadian if i were invisible sure. no i mean the <laughs> the <laughs> episode with that <laughs> monica the invisible girl it's just clay aiken if she I were thought we were talking about like him speaking or her speaking like no no English. I was going yeah. back I was going back All right. I was just waiting to say my piece she did, <laughs> just like yeah it was like wait what yeah yeah <laughs> plan um, <laughs> nice uh, just derailing yeah. things nice um, it wasn't yeah, going anywhere uh, anyways. <laughs> any other shows that you guys wanted to talk about this week um i haven't caught up on runway girls yet i, I watched I like two episodes i didn't catch up on seven, basketball yeah. 22 7 didn't release um they the didn't same, release an episode same issue. I, I didn't I, at least i didn't see it Maybe everyone's on hiatus issue, and, yeah, like and there's coronavirus going on who knows are they just yeah. on are they just, no, just um kidding. taking breaks for coronavirus to keep people from going out and like stay safe or do people in the no, studios in, have it or no in general it, like uh in order to stop the spread that's already like kind of going on in whatever countries you're in that have like a large coronavirus uh outbreak you're just advised to stay indoors and then only right. go outdoors if you have to okay and that's so, what i was assuming i wasn't sure like this so the studios are just going we'll just take it yeah break. i mean stay at home stay at, stay at home. home i wasn't sure if it was like well yeah. two of our key animators got coronavirus <laughs> i mean Sucks. you never know not that I, yeah. yeah not that i know hopefully not like they can yeah, there hasn't been anything like they are sick yeah yeah and there hasn't been anything like super public about it at least for any of these studios that i've seen but you know mm -hmm. it could, it could yeah. happen <laughs> Same. yeah um yeah well then i guess that does it uh guys and then um yeah l let's let's close it out we do have an, an announcement uh we'll be updating our logo soon uh we Yay! just got some artwork back from our artist um, so we're going to be editing that down and we're going to have a new logo. So be on the lookout for that. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you like it. Um, I hope you like mascot. it. Because, uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. New, the new little mascot. Uh, we still got to come up with a, a name for the mascot. So yeah. we'll, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that yeah. soon. Um, final thoughts here uh you can always find uh our previous episodes on our website that also has links to um social media you can uh, contact us from the website so that's animeondraft.com um, go there that's our central hub but uh, if you want to join us on our other social media that way you can stay updated with things um, you can follow us on twitter at enemy on draft or you can follow us on instagram enemy on draft podcast you can see pictures of the beer and whatever else we're drinking or talking about during the week um you can also join our discord and uh, that we will have a link down on the bottom i think it might be on the website as well as uh, on our twitch page um so you can click a link on either one take a pick and uh join our discord and uh, talk talk to us about stuff talk to us about anime and beer and whatever other else things that are going on in your life um, things you're watching it's, reading yeah yeah and talk to of canadian course. seth rogan over here <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah join the discord it's a, it's a lot of fun um yeah we are also on youtube so 
if you want to see our VODs, if you want to see our lovely faces, if you're not uh, watching us live on Twitch, um, you can watch our VODs on Twitch or anime or on uh, YouTube. Uh, just search Anime on Draft. Um, but we are streaming live on Twitch uh, if you're an audio-only listener. Um, Twitch.tv slash Anime on Draft. We usually stream uh, Mondays. We will sometimes switch it up, you know, depending on schedules and, you know, whatever else is going on in our lives. Uh, but yeah, that way, just follow us on social media. That way you get notified as soon as we do go live. Um, and I think that about does it. Uh, if you have anything else you want to talk to us about, feel free to contact us. If you want to be on the podcast, if you want to let us know um, what you think, if you have some uh, comments or suggestions, please let us know. We would be happy to hear them. Um, that's contact at animeondraft.com. Or like I said, you can also go to our website and use the contact um, button there. And I'm just going to say one thing I think we would love is topic ideas. That would be sure. awesome. If people threw out like some random conversation topic they wanted us to talk about. That sounds dope to me. Anyways. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Good if idea. you want us to talk about a certain anime, if you want to hear our thoughts, throw it out there on whatever social media platform, contact, email, you name it, Discord, let us know. We'd be more than happy to talk about it and discuss it um get some uh some more viewer listenership uh interactions um this would be that'd be cool uh and yeah if you feel so inclined you can go to a podcast or streaming service and give us a rating uh, we would greatly appreciate that as well leave us a five star rating it gets us more exposure and lets people find out about what we're doing and uh, more people can follow us as well yeah. uh that's a that does it i think yes yeah. Sounds about Thank right. you for joining us this week again, and we will see you next week. Take care. Stay safe out Bye. there, boys Bye. and girls. Boys and girls.